shoes. And we're back with TSPN. Oh. We have Sherry Flores with Gold Country Pet Resort and Training Center. Hi, yes. Sherry. How are you doing this morning? Good. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. And, and who's our friend down here? This is Artie. Artie. Yep. She's beautiful. And Artie is a <laughs> male. Artie is a girl. Girl. Um, mm -hmm. Her given name is Artemis, okay. the goddess of the hunt, oh. which is pretty appropriate because she was uh, my husband's search dog for uh, a couple of years, and then uh, when he retired from that, she's now our dock diver and barn hunter. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, neat. Well, Mike, your husband Mike worked for yep. East Bay Mud for a long time. A long and, time. And you are a lawyer. You still yep. are a lawyer. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how did you get into the Gold Country Pet Resort and Training Center? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know... I, I am a lawyer, but even before law school, I was training dogs. Um, I got into it because um, I had a dog that needed training, and that's how most of us start. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with it, and I've always done it uh, on the side. And uh, Mike and I, honestly, we wanted a place uh, that we could board our pets that we felt really comfortable with. We wanted just kind of a different style of boarding. Mm -hmm. We did too. Yeah. We wanted a place where we could board our pets and right? make them feel comfortable. And right. kind of open <laughs> and not so enclosed. Right, right. right. So mm -hmm. we um, we decided that we would open a place. It took us seven years to find the right piece of property and we think we found it. We really love it out there. Mm -hmm. um, we're on 111 acres. We, um, we have actual rooms for the dogs. Mm -hmm. We have a, a uh, facility designed to reduce stress as much as possible for the boarding experience and um, we've just been super thrilled with the response. When you're out and, and there like on 88, yeah, make a right in Chayonne right people there. People can yeah. see their sign as you mm -hmm. come down Highway yeah. 88 going west and then yep. as you turn on Highway 104, basically you're the first right turn. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's that's mm -hmm. that's exactly yeah. right. But you're it's a pr beautiful location there. Yes. It's a little rough getting in there, but yeah. you know what I like that. It's, it's, you know, <laughs> it's we secure. like it too. It is secure and we actually we have a new van we're bringing out this year for a pick up and drop off service. So um, mm -hmm. for those people that are a little bit nervous about the road, mm -hmm. uh, we've got the we'll have pick up and drop off service so coming. So convenient too yeah. because you know, I mean, I have drive a little tiny car and so I I don't mind bringing the little guys in it, right. but the bigger dogs hard for me to get them where I want to go. Especially if I'm leaving out of town, that's my drop. You know, I'm going to drop yeah, and go. Right, I don't right. want to bring the truck and have to go back home right. 40 minutes and get the car right. and come back. Little guys so can stay there too, and then they can meet the the cat that thinks it's a dog. Right. right. And right. you know, we have enough property. We have a lot of people that drop a car uh, there oh, and okay. go on vacation. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty smart. So, just, so, now. We're going to run out of time real fast, so tell us about the services you provide. So we have some really exciting new things we're rolling out in 2015. We rolled out last year dock diving. Um, we're getting yes. ready for the dock diving season this year. We have a 48-foot pool by 21 feet wide. The 40-foot dog, uh, dock, the dogs just run down the dock and jump out as far as they can. Way fun. Oh, my Super gosh. Super fun. We're really about having fun with the dogs. Yeah. Um, do, they, do they really dog paddle? <laughs> they really do. Yeah, okay. They really do. I, and there's some dogs that like the dog paddle and make the splash. Uh -huh. And I have to tell them swim, and they'll turn around. And they'll start swimming a nice oh, stroke. Wow. Okay. And then they'll go for the dog paddle splash again. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah. And then we also are rolling out a new uh, event called barn hunting this year. What's that? Um, barn hunting is uh, w was originally designed. It's an AKC event, and it's it was originally designed for terriers. Mm -hmm. um, and they have to go and they have to search through bales of hay to find uh, little rats that are contained in tubes and uh -huh. uh, the rats get lots of treats and stuff like that so it's everything is very humane uh -huh. but they it's very practical already here is a barn hunter she just earned her titles oh. um and she competes in that sport and so we're bringing that out this winter that's neat um, something fun to do with your pets something totally fun to do mm -hmm. we have nose works um that we've been offering, that we're offering now. And so we have some intro classes on those things. Mm -hmm. So um, you can come out and see if your dog likes it, see if you like it, and if you like it, then you take a class. And and barn hunting is perfect it. for Airedale Terriers. It is perfect for Airedale I, Terriers. I know I'm in trouble when I open the door to let our dogs out mm -hmm. and he goes to the door and raises his paw. Right. I know uh, that he smells right? something. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. But it's a, actually, we, we like it and we find it's really practical living on property and acreage. We always kind of know if there's some unwanted guests mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and it gives your dogs exercise at the same time, doesn't it? Well, it, it gives your dogs exercise and it gives you, it's it develops your communication too. and your mm -hmm. teamwork and your communication mm -hmm. uh, as, as a handler and dog team. And then yeah. like the city dogs that are, you know, living in housing tracks and that type of thing, they get out there, they must just love it. They do. It. They love absolutely it. love it. Mm -hmm. At your facility, yeah. uh, you have just ordinary uh, boarding, 
uh, or dogs can go in, they can go together like ours do, right. or they have a they can go where they have a TV, and what, yes. are, what other amenities do you offer? Well, we have radios playing for all the dogs, regardless of where you're at, and we have um, uh, the ability they can have dog TV, so we have actual dog TV playing for them in the room. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our dogs like to come out and do hikes and swims and um, play fetch in the yard. All the dogs that come there go out in the yard and mm -hmm. play. Um, they can play in social groups if they're uh, suitable for that, and mm -hmm. if, if they're not, that's okay. They don't have to be. Right. Um, but other than that, they uh, dogs during the summertime love the pool. Mm -hmm. Our boarding guests get to swim. Um, Makes me want to be one of your boarding guests. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying it. I, I could be in a courtroom or I could be out in the pool, Absolutely, right? right. Uh, and it's it's kind of it's a it's a great uh, mm -hmm. environment for the dogs. We're really rolling out a lot of dog sports. We really want people to focus on having fun with their dogs and doing stuff, getting out and doing stuff. What about the small dogs? I have a couple dogs that are more lap type dogs. Uh -huh. What do they do when they're there? They can do nose works. They can do barn hunt. They can do dock diving. Okay. We have some uh, dachshunds. We have uh, dachshunds oh, really? that, that jump. Uh -huh. um, there's all kinds of so size is not a restriction okay. at all.